it's kind of kind of intriguing that curve. We'll we'll take a look now. Let's just uh, finish up the head here with uh, tur the turbo smoothing of the other part of the axe. This is sort of the small part of the axe for chopping little gnomes or small creatures. <laughs> yeah. When you're swinging an axe around, you want it to be sharp on most edges. Most of the sides that you're swinging it with. Can't remember. So I'm just all I, what I'm doing is I'm just ringing because I I model this to be turbo smoothed in the end. I always model to be turbo smoothed for, uh, and I always try to keep squares because uh, like pentagons and, and and triangles they don't work that well for. Uh, for turbo smoothing and, and I'm not saying never make a triangle I'm saying you should try to never make a pentagon but um, triangles can be used sometimes you know in the utmost need like I have no triangles in this model this is all this is all squares you may even think that this is a, uh, a triangle but it's not a triangle as you, as you can see it's a square uh, so you always try to keep squares, at least that's what I try to do. Now I don't want this part to be uh, curved like this one, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Partially because of time as well. I, I'm going for like a half an hour now. So I guess this is... Um, I'm on my way into video 3, or maybe I already just started into the third video for YouTube. And uh, yeah, let's see. We're going to ring this. And connect it. Just keep rambling away, that's what... That's what makes this video take so long. I modeled, uh, this would probably take an hour, uh, the entire model. Just modeling it, the entire model, and turbo smoothing it. If I. Oh, if, if, if I just really try to do everything as fast uh, as production wise, you know. But uh, I'm not trying to do that right here. I'm sort of... Well... No, I'm, I'm going to do this instead. I'm trying to... Sort of explain stuff while I'm doing it. You know, do do stuff paced and slowly so p p people can understand and not get too confused. Now, if you get too confused, please leave a comment and tell me. You see this? I don't like this. I don't like it. It turns out well here for, uh, for because of the reason of this curve that I made here. But here I did make a curve, so uh, I've decided. I've decided to to sharpen it up, um, which means sharpening the other parts, <laughs> which kind of annoys me. You know, I'm uh, yeah. Yeah, now I'm gonna leave that for later. If I have time, I'll I'll get back to it. So uh, let's just say that the head is roughly uh, done for, for now. We're just gonna symmetry it so we get the same effect on both sides. And we have to remove the turbo smooth before we put on the symmetry modifier, or else we're going to collapse the uh, the turbo smooth modifier on top of the model, which would be completely ruin it. There we go, converted to an editable polygon. We're gonna put on the turbo smooth to see if anything went wrong. Put on isoline display. Nope, isoline display. Set up. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's looking okay. That's good. I'm happy. Sometimes I can't zoom in and out. I don't know. My mouse is sort of weird. Yep, that's good. Then we're gonna unhide all. And I think we're gonna start on this. We can just uh, hide the uh, unselected straight away right there and you can see polygons that are missing. I'm just gonna select the border and uh and bridge it. And uh, I'm not sure, I don't think I like this ring at the top right here. So uh, I'm going to uh uh get rid of it. I'm going to select it all and click loop and hold control and click backspace. Just uh remove it straight out of the box. And I wanna make this uh connection part a little bit bigger so I just move that out 
And I'm not a fan of this anymore. Because last time, you know, I tried to try to do it quickly. Just try to give some indication of what I wanted here, some ripples, something. You know, it's just a concept idea. So I'm going to go into uh, side view here, and I'm just going to drag select, marquee select all the ones in the middle. I'm going to click loop and home control and backspace. And uh, that gets rid of that, which makes that uh, all clean and dandy. And uh, I don't want just a ring. These look a little too simple, I think. I want them more detailed. Perhaps something with the gem in it like the head had. So I'm going to loop that, hold control, click on the polygon to uh, select the polygons connected to the ring. And I'm going to click grow to select that outer ring. And uh, then I'm going to uh, detach it. If we can find the detach, there's the detach. Call it... Uh, Grip, grip, clamp, grip clamp, alright, good. And we're going to hide unselected, because we're going to work on that later, once we've fixed up this model here. And we're just going to bridge that, and then control backspace to get rid of the uh, polygons, right? Now the edges that undesirably came along. We're going to unhide all and we're going to select this and we're going to hide unselected because now we're going to work on just this. And uh, let's uh, bridge that as well so we got the polygons on the inside. We don't have to have them, but uh, sometimes they, they come in handy. And sometimes they don't. So uh, let's uh, ring this and select the polygons on the outside. Click on extrude, select the local normal. So uh, find a nice size. I don't know. Is that a nice size? Yeah, that's a nice size. Yeah. And uh, then I want to sort of uh, ring this and select those polygons to extrude them to about uh, yeah, sure that amount. And uh, go into vertex mode from above. Yes, above. And uh, select these separate. Uh, so scale them up. No, I didn't like that. So what do we do then? Well, um, let's start to think here. This is where where things start to get a little bit complicated when you don't when you're not quite sure what you want, what you want to do. So I'm just gonna connect these. I need to be a little bit rounder. And there's a message for me. Fuck that. Pardon my language. Um. Move these up. I don't know why I did this down here because I'm probably going to uh, symmetry this later on. There we go. That's that's oh forward. That's more like it. I think. I think I like that better. So let's go into the top view again and uh, let's, let's not use the scale tool this time. Let's just manually move it out. No 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 no. Same with this. And this is all a mess. So uh, what if what happens if I select that? Yeah, that's that's okay. This is all connected together. So is this. No, you didn't to cut me out. Let's see. I'm getting sort of lost in the commentary right here because I'm trying to get things uh, within the time limit. Which is sort of slipping out at the moment. I just, uh, I can see that the time is getting short. Now this is nice. I think I like this. I think I'm uh, pretty happy with this shape that I've uh, sort of come across. And, uh, mm. Let's edit this a little bit more. I, I kind of want to uh, make make it the ring itself a little bit thicker. Uh, we should probably I don't know the difference between those anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just uh, pull them out like that, like so, looking nice and dandy. 
and I'm really confused about what I want right now. I think I just want to um, ring these, select that, inset, about, oh, not that much. And that wrecked the model. Can you see that? It's not, that's not good. So uh, what I do instead is that I choose the bevel, which probably will do the same thing. Yeah, oh, I know why. It's not local normal. That's why. Great. And, um, am I liking it? Am I liking it? Sort of questioning myself. Do I like it or not? Yeah, I'm liking it. It's not the way I planned it out in my mind, but okay. Happy accident, I guess you can call it. Happy accident. Can we go inset this part? No. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to take a break. I'll be right back.